Hey guys, welcome to the 70th C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use threading a little bit more. So you're basically just going to need everything we had in the previous tutorials here. So just a button and our multi-line text box with the uh, vertical scroll bar and all this code. And since we're, using that for, since we're doing threading, you're going to need to be using the system.threading namespace. So today we're going to be looking at passing parameters through methods that we're going to be threading. So if you wanted to thread this method, you'd think, oh, well, I can just put string right here and then just do like name. And then it will just do a name like that, and then we'll just pass through our name. Well, no, you can only pass through an object. So we would do object. And you cannot pass any other variable type through. You can't do like an integer or anything. You have to, it has to be an object, nothing else. And then you can just pass through this string anyways, but you're going to have to do dot two string because this is an object. So now in a debug, it should work fine. Yep. And if you wanted to pass through another object, like say you wanted to do, um, how many times it'll loop through. You, you think you could just do another object. Well, no, you can only pass through one object. So since this is an object, we could set, um, we can pass through anything that we wanted. So we're gonna pass through an object array with the first element being the name and the second element will be how many times we want it to pass through. So we'll just go up here and create an object array. set it equal to whatever we want to pass through. So like I said, the first parameter will be the name. So we'll just do, I guess we'll do Bob this time. And the second one will be um, how many times we want to loop through. And we'll just loop through 500 instead of 1,000 times. And now we can just pass through OBJA. And you cannot do just, well, I'll just make this something different. I'll call it array this time. And you cannot do just like array and then put what index you want to access. No, because this is an object. So what you're going to do is you're going to have to cast um, this object array in, or this object right here into an object array. So we're just going to create a new object array. We'll just call it O and we'll set it equal to um, uh, array as an object array. So now we can do O and then 0 dot two string. And then how many times we want to loop through would be O1. Dot, oh, then we gotta convert this into an integer, so we're gonna have to do convert dot two int32. Alright, so now this should work fine. So now we can pass through um, basically two parameters. However, you're not doing that. You're basically just pack passing through one parameter. But we're using an object array, so it's like passing through two parameters. So now we should see it only loop through, yep, and only loop through 500 times. And it used Bob. And now we can change these however we wanted. So if we wanted to pass through Steve, and then we want it to loop through 1,500 times. We can do that. Now it wrote Steve, and yep, 1,500 times. And this says 1,499, but it, there's a zero at the beginning, so it actually did loop through um, 1,500 times. And one last thing that I'm going to be showing you um, before we end here is the uh, sleep um, method inside of the thread class. And it's a static method, so we can just do um, thread.sleep. And then for how many milliseconds you want it to sleep, or stall. So if we want it to stall for 100 milliseconds, it will stall for 100 milliseconds. So it'll just wait 100 milliseconds, and it'll do this code. Loop through again, wait 100 milliseconds, then do this code. And we're going to make it a little bit less, so we don't have to wait like forever for it to load all the characters. So we'll, we'll make it like 50. So we'll wait 50 milliseconds, then loop through and do this, then continue over and over again. And 50 milliseconds, just in case you're wondering, is um, 0 0.05 um, seconds. 
So now when we debug here, it should be a little bit slower. Okay, we gotta wait. Well, that's taking too long, so let's just make it like 10. But yeah, it just slows it down and um, you can do this if you're working with something that, um, yeah, there we go. You can do this if you're trying to like have it wait for something or something like that. Um, this is it for this tutorial. So, see you guys.